Hey, Tubas, Mig Matters Golf. Ever feel like your uh, putting stroke um, is like watching Bruce Lee like wield some nunchucks around? You know, just kind of all over the play, all over the place. Not really that smooth pendulum type stroke back and through, effortless. You know, um, I used to be like that when I started playing golf. I hated watching my stroke. It was just, ooh, it was like, it was like, oh, I don't even want to hit this ball. And I was trying to think back um, when it all changed for me, when I went from that, what I would consider ugly, inefficient stroke to the stroke I have now, which I, actually I quite like, uh, even when I see it on video. I quite like it. I get comments on it. People tell me it's quite a nice, smooth uh, stroke. And I was trying to think, you know, when did that happen? And uh, the more I thought about it, the more I realized it all coincided with me being introduced by a friend to this little puppy. This is the Heavy Putter. Uh, it's a company that came out a few years ago. I don't even know if they're still around. Um, but cut a long story short, it's a really heavy putter. I mean, really heavy. And basically what it does is because it's so heavy, it gets you to just let the club head do the work. It's a heavy weight on the end of a shaft, just like a pendulum. And, uh, and you know, you, you, can, you can't do anything but swing it back and through really smoothly and just let the ball get in the way of the stroke. So the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, why then, you know, why aren't all putters designed with this weight? Well, the drawback of this thing is that sometimes it's a bit like a grenade going off in your hand. It's very difficult to get uh, accurate feel with it. And, and I think that's because when you're putting, you have a certain amount of feel or distance control, which is similar to if you were to throw the ball towards the hole. And I think uh, putters are weighted deliberately like they are to match to tie up with that feel of throwing the ball to, towards the hole so when you hit it with a regular weighted putter it matches up with that feel and uh, it's perfect for that um, and so this guy doesn't really work that well for that sometimes on lag putts it's very difficult with a very heavy putter to you know to judge the distance and sometimes on short putts even though this will start the thing dead online. I mean, with short putts, I was deadly accurate with this, but sometimes you just hit them way too hard. And it's, uh, you know, putting's all about line and pace. Um, but that's besides the point. Uh, the point is we're trying to develop a nice putting stroke here, and then we can go back to uh, using a regular weighted putter. So I really, really, really highly recommend getting your hands on doesn't have to be this brand, but getting your, your, your hands on a heavier putter to develop a nice putting stroke, you know, practice with that and then go back to your regular putter and uh, it will pay dividends, trust me. Um, it worked for me, I'm sure it could work uh, for you. So anyway, try it out. You know, I've spoken about the benefits of weighted clubs before and uh, you need to experiment with these things. And uh, you might go from uh, the nunchucks to a silky smooth Ben Crenshaw type stroke. You never know. All right. That was a quick one from me. McManus Golf signing off. I'm going to bed, bro.